custom work here now. And these, these kind of shops are getting fewer and far between because nobody does that anymore. Everybody's in production. So if you want anything built and it's mechanical and with iron, we can probably do that. I was watching a documentary on Lincoln. I'm a big Lincoln fan. And uh, I happened to see that locomotive on, a, on, a, on this documentary one night on TV. And I liked the looks of it. I thought, boy, that's cool. And it's like it's got really nice lines and uh, so we decided to, uh, I, I, I did some research to see if I could find a locomotive like that and there weren't any available. They're all in the museums or private hands. So I found out the prints were available and then I found out I could get the cast, the patterns for casting the, the wheels and the cylinders were available from the park service. So I ended up starting to build my own locomotive about 15 years ago. It took me about 10 years to finish it. It was kind of a labor of love. We're, we're trying to build a Lincoln funeral car right now, <coughs> which will be on, on display on, in 2015 for the anniversary of Lincoln's death. And we're hoping to recreate the, the route from uh, Washington, D.C. to Springfield with the engine and two cars. So that, that's our goal right now, to get the money to build a Lincoln funeral car. We actually <laughs> got some parts out of a car in Missouri that was supposed to be the Lincoln car. It wasn't, but it's a period car, so we're using that and kind of rebuilding off of that and building it from scratch. We have all the drawings, and I've had all the engineering done to bring it up to modern specifications. So uh, we're gonna, we're, we're, we, we've got a lot of legwork done. We're just looking for some money now to get started to really, really uh, get the castings done and uh, the wheel sets and start building the frame.